Alright, hello fun and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Nail Automatic Insane Launcher Mod, or Nail for short, which is being released by user Sayaheka. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a nail gun that you can shoot people with, and I love this idea. I mean, come on! Out of all the weird improvised weaponry in this universe, why have I never seen a nail gun mod before? It just makes sense. So let's uh, jump on over here and take a look at what we do get with the nail pistol, which will deal 45 damage in its base configuration using railway spikes with a firing rate of 51, range of 155, accuracy of 82, and a weight of 2.9. And all in all, as you can see here, this thing is pretty darn good looking. A little bit clean, too clean in my opinion. This is the post-apocalypse after all. It should be a little bit dirtier, but overall, I think it is pretty darn cool. My one complaint that I actually do have with this nail gun mod is using the railway spikes. I mean, I understand that the mod maker probably just didn't want to add in a new resource, or a new ammo type rather, and just wanted to use something that already existed, but there's a big difference between a railway spike and a nail. I mean, a railway spike would quite frankly be the length of this gun itself, so I would have preferred them to add in a nail category, but again, I think I understand the reasoning. Now, it is a pretty fun weapon with a good amount of modifications. You can't really do anything too weird with it, but you can turn it from semi-automatic to a fully automatic nail gun submachine gun. And that's pretty awesome. And you can even up the PSI for more damage. So overall, a pretty cool little weapon. And there are even some fun texture options and even, of course, some uh, drum magazines for you to mess around with. Now, as for how you do get your hands on one of these lovely weapons, well, the only way to do so is to go into the chemistry station. There is no level loot list added in to the game for this, so the only option is to go into the nail pistol category here, where you can create the nail pistol for 20 aluminum, 10 screws, 7 springs, and 10 steel. And then it also does give you the ability to build additional railway spikes for just 10 steel, you'll get yourself a hundred new railway spikes, which again, I really think that should have been made into nails because a hundred railway spikes is a lot of railway spikes. But oh well, I can roll with it for just the amusement of this weapon. Now let's go take a look at what modifications we do have for this thing. And head to the weapon workbench, where the first category here is, of course, the receivers. Not a whole lot here, really just upping the damage and, of course, up to adding some armor penetration, which is quite good. We then have a variety of uh, stocks, not actually grips. It's a grip category, but these are all, in fact, stocks you can add on to add to your accuracy and hip fire accuracy. Always good. We then have the magazines, where we have the standard small, a medium, large, or dry rub magazine for holding a whole lot of nails slash railway spikes we then have the ability to change up the ammunition of either just regular quote-unquote nails incendiary ones or explosive oh yeah and with the explosive of course you're going to get the most amount of damage especially when you do add on to it some additional psi for the weapon now after that, we do have these skins where it's only three different texture options here, either an industrial, a green camo, or a nine inch nails one. I do like the all black there, very good looking. We then have the sights category, which only has two, the standard iron sights or an aim dot. Then we have the fire mode between either semi-automatic or fully automatic. And then after that, in the final category, we have the pressure PSI, which is a damage modifier, but I am perfectly okay with this one because look, it has requirements and not just a rank in gun nut. You actually are going to have to fiddle with this thing and use some aluminum, ceramics, and circuitry to up the PSI of this thing to add more damage. And that, 
that is how you do a damage modifier, in my opinion. Good times there. And yeah, you can get up to a 100% increase. So between the uh, explo the highest receiver plus the explosive uh, nails with the highest PSI, you can get up to... Oh boy, what did I get it up to over here earlier? Let's yes. grab this one. 172 damage. And that is, of course, a pre counting in any of your various perks that you may have for if you're doing single, semi-automatic, or fully automatic. And then this one here, I went incendiary, got it up to 153, which still ain't too shabby. That is not too shabby for, for a nail gun. Good times, good times. But let's do some shooting with it and the standard one here and take some shots. And there we go. Now, as you can see, it is plopping the full-on railway spikes into it. Again, those are way too big for a nail gun, but I'll live with it. I'll live with it. And my, I guess, actually, I said my one complaint was the nails. I forgot about this. The iron sights for just the standard iron sights uh, don't really seem to work. I mean, you'll hit so long as you sort of line it up with your crosshairs first, then go to iron sights uh but yes it's a little bit wonky i've personally been mainly using this in vats though so i that's probably why i didn't remember because i honestly haven't noticed it half the time now when you do go to the aim dot sights on these it is well perfectly usable and quite nice and accurate there and this one is of course the fully automatic nail gun with uh, the uh, lovely drum magazine there so we've got quite a few shots out of this thing look at that beautiful smooth reload animation there always good and 40 nails all just lighting everything on fire and you know what honestly not that bad of kick for it's Jerry fully automatic nail gun. If you can see there, we're just uh, not doing any compensation. It's got a fair amount, but quite easily controllable. And then of course, we've got the explosive one here, just doing wonderful amounts of damage. I mean, look at that. We're hitting both of those targets there on the right-hand side with this explosive round because, you know, explosion. But let's go test these out on our usual test subjects of Randy and Will. And then see how it does on them. I have a feeling, I have a feeling uh, they're not going to fare too well against an explosive nail. I also just thought of this. How does one make an explosive nail? That hadn't crossed my mind so far. I just went, ooh, yay, explosive. All right, let's resurrect good old uh, Will there. And I'm so sorry. Oh, almost all in one. That is, that is some good explosive nailing right there. And then head on over to a Randy the Rad Stag. We'll use the incendiary on him. A jump into his little enclosure here. And a resurrect. There we are. And sorry, Randy. It has to be done. There we go. That is not a railway spike. <laughs> oh, modding. Wow, one burst with three shots took him down, eh? Yep, that's incendiary nails for you. Again, how do you make incendiary nails? <laughs> These thoughts did not cross my mind earlier. With ammunition, I can kind of understand things like this, but with nails, how? But that being said, it is still a fun, weird little mod. I mean, come on, how have I not seen a nail gun weapon up until this point? It's just such a fun little idea for a post-apocalyptic landscape. It's a good time. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.